Now, there's a phrase, Tamir, that's, that's often used that quotes the idea that Israel has historically been a state or a subject that's been the beneficiary of bipartisan support in the United States of America or from the United States of America. And, and I want to zone in on one operative word, which is the word historically, because in the minds of many, not all, but many, the bipartisan support among elected officials seems to be waning. It seems no longer to be the case. At the very least, support for Israel seems to be waning, in my opinion, most profoundly among elected officials on the democratic side of the aisle. Now, tell me if you agree with that assessment, but also if you do agree that bipartisan support is a security imperative for the state of Israel, and you feel that that is waning, what should the state of Israel do in order to stop that slide, in order to win back the bipartisan support of the United States elected officials? Uh, the, last, the answer for your last question is to do the right things, okay? <laughs> but uh, uh, yes, I do believe that uh, it's, uh, uh, it's Israel interest and uh, 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 I think that's the greatest interest when you're dis discussing the, 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 the US-Israel relationship that uh, will have a bipartisan uh, relationship with both uh, uh, parties. And uh, for us, uh, I couldn't care less who is the president of the United States and who uh, won the election in the Senate or in the, in the, in the Congress too. That's not our problem. And, uh, and, and uh, we should not intervene in uh, American policy uh, and uh, not internal policy. And uh, we, if we have argued some, let's say, different views on, on uh, uh, strategic matters, uh, there, there is a place to deal with those uh, uh, matters and uh, in a proper way. Uh, for Israel, it's essential. Uh, if uh, they are, there is a feeling that we are losing uh, the Democrats in the United States, and it's awful. And I hope that uh, we'll be able to fix it in the coming future and uh, in the near future. And I think that uh, I hope that our politicians learn the right lessons that uh, where are our limits? And uh, maybe we can uh, uh, I'll use the, 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 the old phrase uh, it's stupid. Uh, to save a penny and waste a pound. Mm. Okay. Do you, do you feel do you feel that our government in Israel has been guilty of of, of being penny wise and and pound stupid, if you like, to to continue with your phrase? Recently, can you give us an example of where that's been the case. I think that, uh, 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 as I said, from time to time, you have common interest that with the uh, the the. With the United States foreign policy, uh, and uh, you shouldn't take an advantage. On one hand, when uh, you have, uh, 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 let's say, um, you are sharing the same interest as it, as it was after 9/11, for instance. Immediately after 9/11, uh, we had, even though it was a Republican, okay, administration, uh, we had uh, 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 our relationship flourished. Uh, if we remember uh, during uh, 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 Bush's father, okay, uh, uh, we had with uh, James Baker that uh, was the uh, uh, Secretary of State, uh, uh, we had uh, many problems and we had many arguments. Uh, uh, so it always depends how common are American and Israel interests. And if we are sharing the same interest, it's great. If we don't, beware. At the end of the day, the United States is the United States and Israel is Israel. We have uh, to take care of our interests. Our interests, if we can convince uh, uh, our uh, allies, wherever they are, whether in the United States or in Europe, that uh, we should share the same uh, interests, fine. 
if we don't be careful 